Good morning, everybody. We are here. A little chilly outside today. No sun shining, but not bad. We got a dark bro F I R. First combo S T in the chat. T Crypto Dreamer. What's going on? I like how you guys spell first together because Crypto Dreamer coming in and trying to hit that T there. Dark bro. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. It's morning, bro. Excuse me. What's going on? Kombu, Crypto Dreamer. Bam. Glad to have you guys in here right now. Let's check the market out. See what it's got going on. That's not the market. This is the market. We've got AMC in the top left-hand side of the screen sitting at $4.98. Down, down. Going down, down. Going down. Down, down. In an earlier round. AMC going down, swinging. Dollar sixty or 1.68% lower on the day today. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 870 points per coin. Down 0.11%. GameStop sitting at 2207. It is down 4.27% this morning. Sitting right there at that very strong level of support at $22 per share. We're gonna see if uh if GameStop can fall down through that or if it just maintains that level the rest of the day today. The QQQ pulling back a little bit today, $336.41. Not surprisingly, we've had some very strong action actually since the beginning of the year. Four or five very strong months going from from the bottoms of around 260 up to 336. The overall market looking pretty solid right now, guys. QQQ sitting at 336.25. Is it able to maintain this trend line? We'll, we'll find out as time goes on. The NASDAQ, I mean, obviously following the QQQ there with QQQ following the NASDAQ. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? You get Dogecoin sitting at 7.3 cents. Ethereum sitting at $1,814. Uh, Shiba Inu Coin sitting at at 870. You've got Bitcoin sitting a eh, volatile day today, bouncing back and forth. That is actually some volatile movement on a one hour or a one minute chart. 27,200, all the way down to 26,600, back up to 26,900, back down to 26,800. So volatility definitely in play today. Mullen Auto. I'm telling you guys, we called this yesterday, didn't we? I don't know who's, who's in here right now, but we called this yesterday. Mullen Auto. Reaching its compliance date. Okay, great. The insiders, the, the short sellers, all of those people who want to continue using Mullen Auto as an unlimited bank account, ripping money out of retail investors is exactly what we saw here. Maintaining compliance at this date. And now today, the very next day, it is testing levels of a dollar or most likely below by the end of the day today. If it would have finished below yesterday, it may not have maintained compliance, and they would have either been forced to delist or reverse split again. The fact that we are testing that dollar mark and potentially ending lower the very next day, do you think it's a coincidence? Let me pose it that way. I don't know how much I can conspirize here, but do you think it's a coincidence that the very next day, you're testing that $1 line that would lead to no compliance. Ah, ah, mm, yeah, I don't know on that one, guys. Sundial sitting at a buck 71. It's up 3.60% today. It was actually up nicer earlier. Dollar 76 highs on the day today. Dollar 71 at the moment. Dollar 12 on CEI. The spy pulling back a little bit to 418. BBIG, $2.12. All time lows. Yep, all-time lows being tested today at $2.06 on BBIG. Highcraft Mining, $0.38. Cents. Netflix, $366. The QQQ, $336.42. Ape sitting at $1.59. Bar code ing. My goodness. An MPW test in $7.60 at the moment. MPW is going to have a hard time, guys, if, if interest rates continue to rise. Uh, if, if interest rates kind of level off, MPW should kind of level off as well, but if interest rates continue to rise, I imagine MPW is going to continue coming down. Good news is, man, they continue to pay this dividend here, $0.29 cents on a $7 share. $0.29 cent, uh, quarterly dividend here on a $7 share is solid, man. It's solid. What is the actual dividend percentage right now? The dividend yield, 15.28%. Dude. 15.28%. You guys can choose between that or you can choose between making 4% of the bank. I don't know which one you want, but 15% sounds good to me. 
Hey bro, we're Loop Network. Let's check it out. Where is everyone? They're coming in late. They're late. They're late. When uh, Pepe, Peperium. When Pepe Utility. Chad, man. Peperium. I like it. It's like Shibarium, but a Peperium. Very good, man. We'll figure it out. Pepe Community Governance and Pepe Rebels Team. When? <laughs> ah, I got the perfect answer for you, Chad. Soon, man. Soon. Pepe Governance, Pepe Utility, Peperium, Pepe Ecosystem Leaders. Soon, my friend. Soon. <laughs> Patrick! Thank you very much for the super chat, Patrick says. Dark bro, dilly dilly to you, dark brilly. Oh, I gotta savor it, man. I gotta savor it. That is delicious, Pat. Thank you very much for the authorized titration. 9,935 remaining. Absolutely love it. Pat coming in with that beautiful Streamlabs super chat. Thank you very much on that, Pat. Um, let me let me ask you guys this, okay? Wow, well, one more people come in here. We'll we'll do it again. Um, I do want you guys because I am planning on doing, you know, having like a little birthday party or whatever next weekend. We could do some giveaways and stuff. Um, t-shirts, maybe some tumblers or something. So if we do t-shirts, make sure to get your your size. We're gonna we're gonna spam the chat with the sizes later, so I can see kind of what your guys' sizes are. Uh, I do have some larges that we could do with the giveaways. Um, but if if it's like XL, double XL, I I'm gonna need to to get some more of those. So we'll do that. I mean, there's only eight people in here. We're not gonna do it with only eight people in here. I'm here, but I have to go help the neighbor move because I have a truck. Kai, now that's what I'm talking about, man. Everybody loves a guy with a truck, dude. Everybody loves a guy with a truck. Um, I'm telling you what, though, dude. You could put a lot more than you would think in a Kia Forte. You really can. You'd put a lot more than you'd think in a Kia Forte, dude. Uh, Kia Forte is where it's at. Ah, uh, where we at? Man, you're fun AF and level-headed. You are a bro. Chad, you are a friend. I like it, Chad, man. Appreciate you, dude. Appreciate you being in here, man. Hey, everyone. Spooky! What's going on, Spooky? How you doing? Boom, I've done it again. Yes, you have. Come on, Sarah Destat, 50 Shades of Green. Use the right account. What are you doing? KuCoin burning Loom. YNB fight. KuCoin announcing, right, that they are going to be supporting the increase in burn burn tax uh ynb i know you've been in the terra luna classic game for a while now and, and you've seen the videos but i don't know if you watched this previous one that i just listed that i just posted here but it's the same deal that, that binance mexi kucoin all these guys jumped on before remember when the burn tax was changing and they're supporting the burn tax well uh, it's very strange how they weird it because they want you to think that they're your friend and all of that but it's on deposits and withdrawals, okay? It's not on the exchange volume. It's on deposits and withdrawals, which are already blockchain transactions. So it is unavoidable for them to, to, to not update that burn tax, right? If it's on the blockchain transaction, it will be taxed that way. So if you put money onto KuCoin, of course, you're going to get hit with the burn tax. If you take money off of KuCoin, you're going to get hit with the burn tax. Any KuCoin trades that you do, you are only getting hit with the KuCoin transaction fee or the you know the trading fee, whatever it is, 0.1% or uh, 0.0. .0. I don't actually know what their trading fee is. It's so low that it almost doesn't even matter. Like 0 0.1 or 0.01% or... Uh, I don't even, I, yeah, I don't even know what, what exactly their fee is. I just know it's extremely low. So they're not burning their trading volume. They're burning all of the on-chain transactions that hit their exchange. Sarah Nesta, 50 Shades of Croil. What's going on? That is much better, Sarah. Glad to have you in here. All of my stocks getting pummeled today. Seems like there is no end to this. Already gave up on 2023 and looking into 2024. Perhaps interest rates will come down in February. Johnston Town, don't give up on 2023 yet. I do agree, okay? Here's the thing, and this is strange to me, okay? The market having a little bit of a pullback today. Yes, I, I get it. Not a drastic one. But look at this graph since the beginning of the year here. This is actually a very nice overall market graph since the beginning of the year. We've done nothing but go up. 
in the NASDAQ. Roughly a 20 plus percent gain, dude, in the NASDAQ here. Going from 10,000 points all the way up to 12,700 points. That is a 20 plus percent gain in the overall stock market. Are, are, is your portfolio up 20%? You know, I, I, mine's not. Are you feeling a 20% gain in, in your portfolio right now? The large stocks, the the large cap, super cap tech stocks and, uh, you know, retailers, the blue chips out there are moving higher. All of these other companies, dude, GameStop, AMC, Mullen, CEI, Highcroft, BBIG, Ape, MPW, you can see that they're having very difficult times. And and it's strange to me that the market is doing so well, but the majority of the stocks, except for the super caps, are not doing nearly as well. So people, here's what this might indicate to me, okay? Could make sense to you, might not make sense to you. But hear this out, and, and let me know your guys' thoughts. People right now, okay, they've, they've already pulled out of the stock market over the last couple of years. The fact that the overall market is doing pretty well, up 20%, and these super cap stocks are doing pretty well, may indicate that people are putting their foot back into the pool. They're testing that water once again, but they're only willing to do so with with those large blue chip companies they're only willing to test the water with those stocks that are considered most secure those stocks that are considered the largest companies out there and, and that's why we're seeing the overall market do well but it's not trickling down to the small caps yet so you may be correct right it, it may be a testing period throughout 2023 See what happens with interest rates. See what goes on with the overall economy and all this. People might be flowing back into these larger companies and, uh, you know, out of bank accounts, out of bonds and so on. But we haven't yet seen that trickle down to the mid cap and, and small cap companies out there, which make up the majority of assets, not the majority of the money, but the majority of the assets out there, which is why we can see so much red, but the overall market still doing well what do you guys think about that you think people are testing the waters right now with these larger stocks because i you know you can't deny that the market's up you cannot deny that the market is up since the beginning of 2023 yeah it's up fantastic it's up 20 plus percent um but if our portfolios aren't up it, it might be because we are in those small caps here's the good news though those large cap stocks might rise 10 20 percent but the small caps might rise 100 200 percent as people become confident again uh let's see how it's there coming gray and turn green so fast budgie two accounts man coming in on a fake one and hitting the real one time to dollar cost averages now not financial advice yeah chad's right man you want to buy when there's blood in the streets and that is exactly what people are doing there's a lot of blood in the streets so if you guys come in and and buy now a longer term could look very well nick f good morning to you man how you doing anyone familiar with cosmos uh, aside from just knowing them, uh, knowing that it's like Terra Luna Classics, part of the Cosmos and stuff, uh, that's all I'm familiar with, dude. I have no, like, blockchain technical experience. Same thing is happening with Bitcoin versus altcoins. Bitcoin is going up, alts going down. People are testing the waters and the safest coins. Chad, absolutely, man. That's my train of thought. I mean, glad you agree. Uh, if, you, if you disagree, I mean, you're still allowed. But why are people moaning about a bad year? To me, it gives us time to bind the red and build up for a great year ahead. Sarah Destiff, 50 Shades of Green, you are absolutely correct. I'll tell you this. People often think about the here and now. They don't really want to think about the five years from now or the ten years from now. I would rather be a millionaire yesterday than wait another five years to be a millionaire. You know what I'm talking about? Like people want that gratification now. And it's very, very, very difficult to lose. And I'm telling you right now, last year was a loss. This year is not going to be a loss. 
Last year sucked. This year is going to be great. It is. The red of the market matches my bank account. DD214, man. You might as well be matching. Let's go check out Loop Network real quick for Dark Bro, man. Dark Bro asking about Loop. Let's check out where Loop Network is. Coming out to Chrome, we see Loop Network down 7% of the day. It is at 7.5, almost 7.6 cents. Over the last seven days, it had a nice gain up to 9 cents, coming right back down to the support level. Over the last month, uh, it's low over the last month. Touch, touch in like six cent lows here. Six and a half cent lows. Currently sitting at seven and a half cents. Over the last year, had a very nice spike up to 25 cents. Coming back down right now to this level of support in that five, six, seven cent range. So double bouncing right here. We might be able to make a, a support line for it. If not, Dark Bro, coming back down to two cents for sure, man. So watch out. For that one, Loop Network is currently sitting at 7.6 cents, down 5.77% on the day today. Absolutely, sir. Dollar cost average. Boom, baby. Tony D's got it. Won't like till you throw down a bot. <laughs> Dante, man. It's like, Dante, where can I throw a bottom of lady? Where can I throw a bottom of lady, man? I got a bottom on Pepe right now. Where can I throw a bottom of lady? If they add it on KuCoin, dude, I'll, I'll open up a bot for you on KuCoin if they throw it on there. This is the way I foresee the next year and a half going. 2023 is going to continue to have its ups and downs. Probably straight, trade steady unless we see another disaster. 2024, we may see a steady increase of the market in 2025. Boom, baby. Bull run. Here's the deal, though. Dark bro, I, I could agree with you, right? Uh, I mean, that is that is a prediction uh, of what the market looked like or could look like. It's an educated guess, absolutely. So nobody knows if that's going to be or not. But here's the thing that we do know. If that's the way it plays out and you are unable to dollar cost average, you're unable to kind of add to your account and buy at these lows, right? Let's say you're looking, you know what? Let's say you're looking at the NASDAQ here or you're looking at a specific stock. I don't know which one, man. Pick your poison. MPW, we talk about it because Frank likes it. You know, if you're looking at MPW, it's seven per it's seven dollars per share, and it's got a fifteen percent dividend. You can either begin to accumulate at seven bucks; it might fall to six. You buy a little bit more at six bucks; it might fall to five. I highly doubt that it goes much lower than five, but you know, you might be able to accumulate at five, and then it goes back up to six. You accumulate a little more at six. You know, all of a sudden you're sitting on a hundred shares, right? Your average is six bucks a share. You're buying at seven, buying at six, buying at five. Buying at six, your average is six bucks a share. And then in 2025, not only is your cost average six bucks, which generates, if they do not increase their dividend, which generates a an 18 to 20% dividend for you, annual dividend on your investment of 20%, you also could be sitting on shares of 10, 12, $20 per share. So you three, 4x your money over that time period as well. So now all of a sudden you're sitting on a 300% gain and a 20% annualized return because you were able to accumulate during this bear market. If you wait until things are going up, what ends up happening is, and it's not bad to wait, okay? It's not bad if you if you you know absolutely need to. It's a little bit more of a conservative approach, but if you if you're starting to wait till things go up. All of a sudden, that average that was at six bucks, it, now you're buying at seven. You're buying at eight. You're buying at nine. You're buying at 10, 11. Then you're averaging in, and all of a sudden, your cost basis is, is now $11 per share. It's still excellent because when it hits $20 a share in the bull market, you're still sitting on a 100% gain. You're sitting on maybe a you know 6% annualized dividend which is still excellent but you know you're giving up some of those major gain opportunities because you weren't willing to buy when there was blood or weren't able to buy when there was blood on the streets it's not a bad decision either way both cases are out the both cases have an outcome of you win you're making money you're doing very well if you wait until the bull market takes place 
So both cases, you win. It's just one, you kind of had to roll with the punches, and you might come out uh, with a little bit higher gains. The other one, you took a little bit more conservative approach. You didn't have to get hit as hard, and you've got a little bit less gains going on. So either way, you've got gains, which is exactly what we're here for and exactly what we want to see. USA stock market buy symbol MWG multiways holding Singapore stock mysterious MM let's see MWG multiway holdings uh the stock hasn't been out for very long here um wow man A very very volatile stock to say the least getting listed and jumping up immediately to 16 bucks and getting blasted. I, I'm wondering if this was additional dilution here. What do we got in terms of news on April 28th? Uh, let's see here. Uh, when in the world, or what in the world is going on with Maltaway's holdings? Yeah, that's what we want to know. That's what we want to know. Let me know what's going on. Oh my gosh, dude. I hate. I hate these stupid websites. Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh, oh my god. I don't even Oh, let's read it. Did you guys even see this? Did you guys even see this? Clay! This will probably be the last active chat for a while. Dang it. I start a new position on Monday that we will uh, that will not have the same flexibility time-wise for streams. Meanwhile, y'all keep smashing that like button and be sure to keep Clay hydrated. Dang it, man. You're gonna make me you're gonna make me cry, Pat. 9,885 to go. Pat, um, Pat, you're in the Discord, dude. Pat, hit me up on, send me a message on Discord or something. If you're not gonna be active in the stream, dude, you need a, you need a nice bro hoodie or you need a nice, uh, bro jacket or something. I know it's warmer out, but dude, it's, you know, 60 degrees, 69 degrees outside today and it's partly cloudy. The hoodie's great. Um, Pat, dude, hit me up on, I hit you up, dude. What can I send you? I don't, how do I send a DM? Does that send you a DM? Oh, there you go. Pat, man, I, I sent you a DM on the Discord, dude. Let me know what size you wear and and where to send it, man. I'm, I'm going to send you something for that. If you're not going to be active, the best thing you can do, man, is rock a bro hoodie, have some bro tumbler or something out there, drink your coffee and authorize that hydration out of a nice cup for you. Pat, we're going to hook you up, man. Pat, thank you very much for that super chat absolutely appreciate it and dude if you want like if you've got time i completely understand dude never never jeopardize a new position or anything like that by hanging out on the internet and hanging out in the live stream but next friday man if you do want to come out next friday and, and sit in the live stream for a minute or so and say what's up on on the birthday stream there i do plan on doing some giveaways on that day man so if you just want to like you know passively listen or whatever absolutely 
uh, jump in there and watch some people having fun with some giveaways on that day. But Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Let me say right now, thank you very much for going directly through Streamlabs on that one and avoiding all of the, the YouTube fees and stuff. And Pat, please, man, send me, uh, send me just, I, I don't even care. Just send me a size and, and where I can hook you up with. And uh, I don't even care if it's uh, international or U.S. or wherever you're at there, man. Uh, or wherever you want it sent, for that matter. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, yeah, dude, we, we are going to... I'm going to hook you up, dude. Thank you very much for that super chat. Absolutely appreciate that one, man. It is going to suck to not have you as active in the chat, but never jeopardize a new position or, or never jeopardize work or anything like that because, you know, you're hanging out. So if it's less flexible, roll with it for a while, get used to it. And I'll tell you right now, dude, if you come back next week, if you come back next month, if you come back next year, everybody is going to welcome you with open arms and it'll be like you never even left man so thank you very much cannot say i appreciate that enough my goodness and and it's gonna be a hard hit man not having you as active in the chat we are definitely going to be here whenever you want to return man my goodness uh, Tante, trying to figure out the bots on KuCoin. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it looks like the way with all these ups and downs. Yeah, Tony D, man, it, it actually is pretty good. So overall, that Pepe bot right now is down, but I did update it so that it trades between a 100 point per coin and 200 point per coin range. And it's been hitting trades every day since uh, last week. So it's stacking up the overall, my, like my break evens around the 160 point per coin mark. So it's down slightly, but it's just bagging money every single day on each trade. So the question is, who shall be hydration master? Well, dude, it looks like with 9,885 that I am like, I, I don't know, 50 in the, I'm net positive on about 50 authorized hydrations right there. And I mean it. I, I do mean it, Pat. I, I sent you a message on the Discord, man. Send me something, and uh, we'll get you, we'll get you a little package. And I, and I do hope you can swing by at least for a minute on the birthday there, and, and come hang out with all the bros, having fun, doing some giveaways. If not, dude, if you know, if your if your lunch break doesn't allow for it, if you can't go to the bathroom for ten minutes and and uh, listen to the stream for a minute with some headphones on or whatever. I completely understand. I would never want anybody to be put in a position where they have to choose between, you know, work and, and real life responsibilities and, and hanging out in here. Uh, don't ever feel like you'll lose your bro status because you have to take time away, man. I don't care. And, and I'll tell you this, man. If any of those guys that were AMC OGs jump back in the chat and they haven't been in here for a year and a half... They're going to be welcomed with arms wide open, man. We're going to play some Creed up in here. With arms wide open. I don't know the rest of the song, but Pat, you're welcome to come on home with arms wide open. <laughs> Thank you very much once again, Pat. Absolutely made my day on that one, dude. And we do hope to see you as often as possible. And you know what? Everybody, wish Pat good luck, man. Pat's starting a, a new path on Monday. So I know that's got to be a little bit scary. I know you got to be uh, a little nervous about that. So Pat, man, absolutely, um, you know, good luck on Monday. And I do know that you got 37 people in here right now that got your back, man. And know you're going to absolutely kill it. Tony D is dope, dude. I got one on Elmo, my lady, Pepe. Just sit back and let the bot do its thing. Use money check. I'm holding XRP, bro. Money check. All right, Dante, I've never seen money check before. Could be a good bot. Uh, is it bad to have to work from home job? and want, Is it bad to have a work from home job and watch the stream? Ah, uh, Chad, I don't think so. Look, man, my mentality is as long as you are completing your work, getting your tasks done, it, you know, me personally, and your boss could be completely different. What does it matter what you do, man? What does it matter if you get your work done naked? You know what I mean? Like, if you're getting your work done, if you're being responsible, the heck does it matter if you got a radio playing, if you're sitting outside and doing it, if you're, like, really, what does it matter if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing? 
that is that's my mentality clearly the person who <laughs> works on your team may think differently but yeah i don't know uh, let's see. I'll be sure to check in you when I can and stay up on the stream labs. Patrick, man, you are amazing. Well, if that's the way to get a shirt, I'm starting a new job. I won't be here as much. Pudgy! No, dude, the dude just sent me a $100 super chat, man. Pudgy, one way for you to get another shirt. Cause didn't you just, didn't you get a shirt? Like, did you get a shirt or you didn't get a shirt? You only get stickers. What did, I don't even know what Pudgy ended up getting there. Pudgy, one way to almost, listen, there's 35 stinking people in here. I can guarantee your odds of getting a shirt next Friday on my birthday are going to be pretty good, man. They're going to be pretty good. So I'll make sure to come in uh, next Friday if you want a shirt or something. And uh, that'll be the way to do it there. Now, uh, where's John Jay to spit some rhymes? We need John Jay in here, Paul Wright. Headed to Cleveland right now, live streaming on the freeway. <gasps> what the heck is he doing in Cleveland, man? What does he want to go to Cleveland today for? <clears throat> I mean, it's a nice day. What's he got going on in Cleveland? JB just saw that. He's cruising. Very nice. Paul, man. Shout out to Paul. Paul coming over the Ohio way. You the man, broski turkey king. Hey, Blaze just went live on Bitmark. We all, can we get all the shipholders to think about investing and contribute to the burns? Yeah, Christopher, man, it, you know, it could be something. I, I'm not going to endorse another coin or anything like that, but like I like the way you put it, man. Can we get them to think about investing? Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's anybody's own decision if they want to invest. If you guys want to start thinking about buying some Blaze, I don't have any Blaze. I don't know if I actually plan on getting any Blaze, but I do like what Blaze is doing. And I understand that they need traders. They just need volume. They don't need holders. They need traders to create some volume. And uh, that volume is, is therefore going to be used to burn Shiba Inu coins. So Chris is right on that one. But obviously, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, promote any token to go out and buy it or anything. But I like the way you put it. Think about it. Hey, Dante, just chilling. How you doing? Very nice. Clay, thoughts on BRC20 and these protocols coming in and clogging the Bitcoin blockchain? Dude, I don't even know what BRC20, like, I don't even know what protocols would be coming in and blocking the block, uh, the Bitcoin blockchain. Um... Are they creating Bitcoin tokens? I haven't, I haven't been following that at all, if that's what they're doing, JB. If that's what they're doing, I have not been following that at all. Any news on Son Goku token? Ross LaPointe, zero news on Son Goku whatsoever. I did not even know that that coin was in existence. Run away, Brian. Run away. Run away from anybody planning on getting any BitBoy coin. <laughs> Does BitBoy? Oh, man. Oh, we should do a bro launch to rival the BitBoy launch. Oh, man. Is BitBoy coming out with a BitBoy coin right now? Go look at a BRC20. They're creating Bitcoin tokens. Casual 10x on most of them if you can get any. Dang, dude. I'm going to have to look into that. A casual 10x. I would love to casually 10x my money. What's the... JB, what's the... And I, I will look into it this afternoon. Uh, what's the difficulty in getting them? I'm running every single day. K-King. Good, man. It's the Oakland, California. It's the most dangerous city in the world. Being said, I invested $120,000 crypto to hopefully become a millionaire and get out of the danger I face every single day. So far, no luck. K-King, man. K-King, man. I don't know when you started investing. But I'll tell you right now, dude, if you get $120,000 invested, uh, the next bull market could do very, very well for you. And, and yes, you can get out of the constant danger that you live in. Yeah, JB, man, send me a, a DM on on uh, Discord there, because I'll look into that. I'll try my luck at a BRC20 token. My goodness, man. A casual 10X is fine with me. Goodness gracious, dude. 
It's all, it's all about making some money, isn't it? They've caused the fees to go up on the Bitcoin network. Lonnie, so very, very similar to what we're seeing with all of the tokens being created on the Ethereum network, causing the fees to go up there. Uh, man, people are always upset when fees go up, aren't they? Shouldn't they be embracing these BRC20 tokens? The fees aren't going up by 10x, right? I mean, are the fees going up by 10x? If you're casually 10xing your money, it sounds to me like you could easily invest in one of these BRC20 tokens and, and 10x your money and pay for all of the fees that you would ever have once more on the Bitcoin blockchain there. The boy lies and cries about it like the little boy he is. You know, uh, Dante, man, I don't know. I, I, I do know that a lot of these guys, they get caught up in some internet drama and stuff like that. Going back and forth with guys like Shitoshi and BitBoy and uh, CoffeeZilla and, and all that types of stuff. Um, I try not to get caught up in the drama. I don't necessarily like talking talking down on other people or anything like that. So I, I don't want to say that BitBoy likes to call, likes to cry and, and whatever, being a boy and stuff. But uh, people get caught up in drama, man. They get, they get caught up in drama. MD! Hey man, an outside life for me. There you go, Kombu. It's lovely and sunny here in the UK, too. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful morning. Ah, I think I'll go outside for a while and just smile. Just taking some fresh, clean air. Boy, it ain't no sense in staying inside. The weather's fine and you got the time. I don't know if that was a song or not, but what I know is if the weather it was fine today. It, it's supposed to rain a little bit today, but dude, I got like 10 brand new baby chipmunks in the yard. Chip bro been busy this year. I got like 10 brand new baby chipmunks in the yard. I got Chip bro eating out of my hand this morning. I got a little raccoon that comes and visits the back door. I'm going to be feeding him out of my hand soon. I know, man. Me and that raccoon are going to be tight. I got to, hold on, I got to show you guys this. I got to show you this. Dude, right up to the patio door last night. The little idiot. I Okay, let me, I'm going to rip on him for a second here just to let you guys know. I have a hummingbird feeder that's right by the door. I will be feeding that hummingbird. That is a guarantee out of my hand. I know that hummingbird is going to let me. Um, the raccoon last night, he made me a little bit mad because he, uh, cause he ripped the hummingbird feeder down because I had some, uh, I had some grape jelly and some orange slices in there for the Orioles. He wanted it, so he kind of ripped it down. You guys got to see this one. Okay, hold on. You got to see this one. That's the hummingbird. And I know that he don't even care that I'm sitting right there. I know that dude is just going to land on my hand and he's going to let me feed him. So I know that hummingbird is legit. That's going to happen for sure. I don't know if you saw this yesterday or not. These three babies popped up out of the ground yesterday for the very first time ever little dog trio man these three babies popping out brand new chipmunks sprout up like little flowers dude and then one last one you guys got to see this where's that picture oh here it is this dude patio door open he doesn't even care man he doesn't even care Stop focusing on me. Yeah. Look at that dude. Right there. No patio door. Wide open. The dude loves it. I know I'm going to be feeding that guy out of my hand too. Nature, guys. It's where it's at. Enjoy your life, right? Raccoons are bros if you are bros with them. Chad, man. It's going to be happening. Hey, bro. Fam, Gorilla Invictus. What's going on? Quay, a friend of all woodland creatures. It's going to be a very nice. Oh, well, that's awesome. Heck yeah. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> Fortes. This dude better stop referring to him as rodents. Yard rodents. Ohio. YouTube. Fist. Boom. Fist. Boom. Fist. Boom. Fist. Boom, baby. Michael Allen. The most consistent player in the game. Michael Allen. Thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that, man. And uh, yes, we are going to be friends with all of the animals in the yard, guaranteed. Although I did find a rabbit's nest 
the other day the rabbits left the nest, but I have not seen a single baby rabbit. So I'm starting to wonder if something got those little rabbits or not, man. Chipmunk Mean Coin is running. Lonnie, that it would be, man. That it would be. Yard rodents this dude needs to calm down on my rodents, man. I'm telling you right now. We get squirrels and foxes in our garden and loads of deer in the fields near us too. Yeah, Sarah, um I actually talked to the neighbor yesterday and dude he showed me. I've never seen a deer out here, but I think it's because I wake up too late or something. Um, but there was like five bucks right across the street from me and, and a doe the other day that crossed into my yard. And I'm like, dang, dude, I didn't see none of that. Uh, but nonetheless, yes. Uh, and I've never seen a fox in my yard either, but possums, uh, yard, yard rodents, squirrels, chipmunks, all the good stuff. Chipmunks are a pain in my butt. They keep chewing my wires on my car. The franchise, give them some bird seed to chew, and they will get off of your they will get off of your wires. This dude's friends with a squirrel. <laughs> Dante, you better believe it, man. Well, dude, you missed this one, man. You missed this one, Dante. Hold on. This dude ripping me from being friends with a squirrel. You missed this, my friend. Yeah, don't miss that, man. That happened, I think, yesterday. You can't miss that, dude. That right there. And then he was eating out of my hand outside yesterday. This was, or outside this morning. This was inside yesterday, I believe. I don't know why it wants to focus on me instead of Chip Bro. Yeah, dude, that, that's where it's at, man. You gotta love life. Google albino raccoon. They're just possums with cool masks. Now, I gotta see that, Emma. I gotta see that. I had to redo a ceiling that a raccoon caved in. It got into the attic and was living up, fell through, and this lady beat it with a broom. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, that would actually have to be a pretty heavy raccoon. To cave in a, a was it a drywall ceiling or was it a drop down ceiling? I feel like it would have to be a pretty heavy raccoon to cave in a drywall ceiling, man. I guess if it was a slat ceiling, maybe if it was if it was slat and plaster. But if it was drywall and it was screwed in right, man, I feel like that'd be hard. We need a backyard cam as soon as possible. JB, we do, man. We do need a backyard camera as soon as possible because these guys are all over the place. The thing is that I would, I would, I guarantee I would forget to turn the backyard camera off. And then I'd go out there, dude, and, you know, if it's night, if it's 80 degrees outside, like I might be walking around shirtless or something. You guys are like, what the heck is on this backyard camera? And uh, then I'd be like, oh, crap, I forgot to turn that off. So th that uh, that could turn bad if I forget that it's on there. Motion sensor flame. Th no, 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 Frank. No, no, no. Come on now. When I make it uh, till I have when I make it till I have a farm and raise cows, pigs, and chickens for eggs, and then I will eat them. Eat them? No, don't eat. Don't oh, just eat the eggs, man. Don't eat the little critters. Honor animal bros by eating every part and not wasting anything. <laughs> Chad, yes, but don't eat the don't eat the chipmunks, man. Don't don't do that part. Don't eat the chipmunks. So plas ah uh, yeah I could see it on a plaster ceiling then man luckily it didn't hurt the lady well clearly I'm lu it's lucky it didn't hurt the lady or something man I was thinking too drywall ceiling would be pretty rough but I could see it falling through a plaster ceiling never turn it off JB man I can almost guarantee that would end up bad for me I'd probably be like demonetized in a minute or something if I go out there and just walking around shirtless or something. I had a cat that would bring home his catch. Mr. Brian, did he kill it or did he just play with it? Hey, bro, bring that ceiling knowledge. Fire! You think we know random things, but I have no ceiling construction knowledge. So on this topic, you win. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, ceiling knowledge is where it's at, man. I like it. M.D., we're very well-rounded. You've got the cinnamon knowledge and the hydrophobics, and, and I've got the ceiling knowledge. Okay, chipmunks are safe. Good. Chad, don't eat them. Uh, we'll be friends, man. I think Sheba will hit half a penny. Hemi life. <sighs> you know, let me say this, man. I do not think that Sheba Inu coin will hit half a penny. Why? I don't think that we're going to be able to burn. I don't think we're going to be able to burn the necessary amount. And I just, I really don't think that Shiba Inu coin is, is going to have a $3 trillion valuation. 
if something comes along and changes that for me, then I would be on board with it. Shiba Inu coin at half a penny is 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 either a three trillion dollar valuation, or you need trillions of coins to be burned. So, like, just thinking about it logically and straightforward, uh, right now we have nothing that will burn uh, two hundred trillion coins. If we did. If Shibarium turns out to burn a massive amount, or if some project comes along and it really revolutionizes the game, then I could change my mind and would be willing to change my mind on that. But I don't see a $3 trillion valuation happening for anything other than Bitcoin at this point in time. If the market turns into a stock market type of, of net worth, if instead of a $1 trillion market cap, the cryptocurrency market has a $50, $60, $70 trillion market cap, then I would say yes. I don't think that that's, uh, I mean, that's fair game at that point too. Because you'd be talking about, you know, Bitcoin potentially having a $10, $20 trillion market cap and, and the rest of coins jumping on with it. But I don't see Shiba you know surpassing bitcoin or anything like that i just me trying to be realistic on it nah your viewership would 100x kennedy's crazy polls either that or zero x man uh when amc to a thousand well jb i do think that uh, amc is going to be very difficult to be dude you guys should go see if we can get anybody from reddit to jump in here go into the amc what is it called on reddit subreddit go to the amc subreddit and and post that i'm a shill and i said that amc can't reach a thousand see if they come in and attack me again uh amc to a thousand soon amc to a thousand soon jb i can almost guarantee ship is not going anywhere near that with the current developers yeah more developers could get on board too imagine okay if all of a sudden we had two three ten ecosystems built around Shiba Inu coin. That might make a difference as well. Not just the one. And imagine an ecosystem that actually brought utility to Shiba Inu coin instead of the current one we have that brings utility to all of the other coins except Shiba Inu coin. 2025, we'll have a bro meetup in Monaco. There we go, Chad. I like it, man. Bring your Lambos, baby. I'm going to bring my Forte, and I'll just put a Lambo sticker on my Forte. I'll bring my yacht and the girl. There you go, Chad. XRP should get a market cap in the trillions someday soon. Ross, I don't doubt that that's a possibility, okay? I really don't doubt that that's a possibility once they win their lawsuit. Um, simply because Ripple's an actual company doing you know, actual business that could give them a trillion-dollar valuation one day. So I, I really don't think that that's an impossibility, man. Apple can do it. Three trillion, Clairbro, unless you meant just coins. I, I did mean just coins, right? I, I meant just coins. Uh, so yes, c companies can do it, right? Companies can do it. And uh, the stock market has a 50, 60 trillion dollar valuation or whatever it is. So I know that coins can one day get there. They're just not currently there. So I don't know if that, nobody wants to think 10 to 20 years down the road either. So I don't know if crypto becomes that after all of the regulatory concerns are are cleared up. You and I, man, we're, we're sitting here, we're all gray and wrinkly and, uh, you know, talking about our grandkids and how their chipmunks are doing. Then, then 50, 60, 70 trillion dollar valuations might be possible. Dude, by then, though, who the heck knows? The dollar might not even exist anymore, and you guys might be, we might be living on Mars. You, you know, we really don't know what's going to happen 20, 30 years from now. No, 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 gotta run! No working meetings and whatnot. JB, come on, man. Nobody likes that kind of stuff. J-Bones, baby! I will never ignore you, J-Bones. Never ignore you. J Bones, what's happening, man? Helped family members set up their own long term retirement portfolio this morning. I bought $10 of each of the 15 positions with dividend reinvestment turned on to monitor in another of my accounts. Very nice, Frank, man. No, Frank, that is very good, dude, because, you know, if they see this just the slow, steady growth 
they're going to believe that, that you know gains are possible. Do I think that Jasmine will hit one dollar? Uh, I think that Jasmine could probably three, four, five, six x in value, but Jasmine at a dollar before was based on a lot less coins in circulation. They have since added a lot of coins to circulation. So I am very skeptical that Jasmine is able to... Is Jasmine at five cents right now or is Jasmine at half a cent right now? Let me go see where Jasmine's at. Uh, let's see. Ja okay, Jasmine's at half a cent. Jasmine right now is at a $232 million market cap. If Jasmine goes up 5x in price, it's sitting at about two cents, two and a half cents, okay? That gives it a billion dollar valuation. Can Jasmine reach a $50 billion valuation? The answer is yes, it absolutely can. Dogecoin did it, Shiba Inu coin did it, uh, Terra Luna Classic did it. You know, some of these other meme coins out there, like Shiba, Doge, and so on, have reached valuations that high. Now, if we've got a, a cryptocurrency market that is is absolutely thriving, and for some reason or another, people are jumping on Jasmine, yes, $50 billion or a $1 market cap or $1 price point is a possibility. But don't think that it's going to be as easy as, as Jasmine being in that dollar range before and reaching that because they have issued a lot of new coins. The top market cap was only a billion dollars. And at a dollar price point now, you're talking about a $50 billion valuation. So yes, it can, but don't think that it's going to be as easy as just going back up to where it was before. There's a lot more coins outstanding now. Uh, coming back down to the chat, got to catch up, guys. I'm El ERC is the next cycle of ship. Uh, Chad, I hope that it is for anybody in Elmo. Let's check Elmo out real quick and see where it's at. We haven't looked at that in, I think, a day or two here. So, Elmo down 21% right now. Elmo taking a pretty hard day today. Coming back, though, look. Look at this monthly graph right here. This is just another one of these dips. The 21% decline is pretty large. But it's just another one of those dips on the overall long-term steady trend that we've been having over the last month here. So, you know, Elmo, absolutely a possibility to, to bounce off these levels. Even if it dips down a little bit further, Elmo has the possibility of rolling higher from here if it continues this uptrend. Definitely has the possibility. Volume's down. The price is down. Uh, the market cap's down right now. So, Elmo pulling back 20% today. Sorry to leave the Clay Bro live stream. DD214. Well, just wait until 1 o'clock then, man. I don't know about XRP. Ripple is talking all kinds of CBDC deals with governments. Yeah, Gorilla Invictus, man. And the thing is, they could, they could absolutely be leading the game when it comes to centralized cryptocurrencies. So I don't know if they're going to be talking about it with the U.S. government since the U.S. government seems to hate them, but all the other governments may embrace them. Popping in to say hello and happy Friday to everyone. And don't forget to clicky that likey button. Guys, click the like button. What the heck are you doing? Make sure to click that like button. 38 people in here. We should have 40 likes. Uh, do you even see the Twitch chat? Uh, J Bones. No, Twitch chat is not showing up here. Let's see if... Dude, it says that I'm not even... Are we on here? Oh, there we go. There we... I do see the Twitch chat now, man. I see the Twitch chat now. It says, Pocket, where are you? Is your friend Burrito here? And J-Bones, now I see you over there with some... Dude, is that Bob Ross, man? Dude, J-Bones has like the coolest emojis over there in twitch for some reason the dude's got some bob ross man he's got who the heck is that who's the hey guys seems good that dude's got the coolest emojis man he's got a stinking squid that he can throw over there this is not spam it's important info yes it's always important info 
J Bones, now I actually see the the Twitch chat over there. It was not pulled up. It was not refreshing. But now it is. Emma, send me some of that coffee. There you go. I've been buying XRP every chance I get. There's billions of institutional money that's been tied up for a few years. If they win, it's going to fly. Ripple is still building while the SEC case is going on. Tony D, 100% agree with you, man. Uh, they should do very well if they win the case. If they don't win the case, I don't know how it's going to affect the price of Ripple or the price of XRP because, you know, it's still got utility. It's still going to be used. It's it's still the coin that they need to transact in. So I don't know how it's going to affect the the price, and I don't know if they're going to have to pay some you know multi million or multi billion dollar fine or whatever the heck the SEC is looking for. You know what they should do though? They should just pay it in XRP and and just issue more XRP afterwards. That's what they should do. If they lose the lawsuit, they should pay it in, in only XRP. Uh, bring my Ford Focus hatchback with rose-shaped spinning rims. Now that sounds like something I'm interested in, Pat. Heck yeah, dude. We can meet up in Monaco. We can have a, a Lambo, Kia Forte, and uh, Ford Focus hatchback with spinners on it. Dude, I forgot all about spinners, man. Spinners were actually pretty cool. I've not seen a spinner in a long time, though. Has anybody seen one of those recently? I've not seen one of those, man, since the early 2000s. What the heck? Thanks for uh, thanks for checking out, Mo Broski. Absolutely, Chad. What I admit, says the body star out already, is Anne. Is she? Is she okay? Is Annie okay? Is she okay, Annie? Yes, she is, John Jay. She is definitely okay, man. John Jay, better late than never, heck yeah. Ross, you like... John Jay coming in hot on that one. I know he was. Let's check. Oh, you know what I want to check out? Let's look at Bob really quick before we take off. Because Bob got listed on KuCoin today. And I want to see if it's I want to see if it's causing any action. And we're gonna look at Mung really quick too. Mung or Mung. Alright, Bob rolling 17% on the KuCoin listing to a $47 million market cap. It is still down from the all-time highs though. So Bob running more on the Pepe listing than Bob is running on its own listing. That's interesting. That's interesting. Pepe causing much more of a hype in meme coin categories than Pepe getting its own KuCoin listing. So very interesting to see that. $41 million traded. I imagine the majority is coming from... Oh, uh, the majority is still coming from uh, Uniswap here. But KuCoin jumping in with $1.7 million in trades there. Dark Bro! Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Dark Bro says we got a little bit... Oh, man, I can't, I can't move. I'm plugged in. We got a little behind-the-scenes action right now. What's going on in the Clay Bro? So, whoa, we've got a... Just unlimited movement going in there. Thank you very much for the Super Chat, Dark Bro. Absolutely appreciate that, man. And uh, a look at the unlimited multiverse of the streaming realm. Kind of set this stuff back up so it doesn't fall over now. Dark Bro, man, thank you very much for that. And uh, where we at? Mr. Brian down 16% today. Mr. Brian, no, we don't want anybody to be down today. What about Milady? Let's look at Milady and then let's look at Mung really quick. Mung, oh, Mung is first, I guess. Mung, man, getting hit hard because it didn't get listed on KuCoin. Down 27% on the day today. And Milady, ladies and gentlemen, Milady is down 16% as well to a $52 million market cap. The memes are falling and they not necessarily falling ridiculously hard, but they are falling today. And Pepe, ah, Pepe holding steady around 150 points per coin. 3% loss on the day, maintaining half a billion dollar market caps and 220 million dollars in volume over the last 24 hours uh the thing that you don't like to see is that pepe is slowly declining after being listed on binance you could draw a perfect line uh perfect slow dissension 
since uh what is this friday if this was friday saturday sunday monday since that monday following the binance listing pepe has followed a very 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 slow decline the good news is you can see that same type of decline right here and then after people wanted to get back in boom it bounced out very quickly meme coins are very volatile guys they uh you know they can go down and then out of nowhere spike up so please be careful with them nonetheless you can make a ton of money guys we have got um we've got one o'clock on the clock right now make sure to get your names in the chat right now we're gonna do some shout outs and then we will be back pat dude if you're still in here absolutely appreciate that super chat man we're gonna play it one more time on the screen thank you very much for going directly through Streamlabs. and i do want to say that uh I do want to say that, man, I, I, you know, I can't thank you enough, dude. I really can't. I hope that everything works out perfectly with the new job you got, that it's something good, it's a good position for you, and that you continue to rock it, man. I know you're going to do well if you're in here. If you're not in here, well, I'm talking to a wall right now. But appreciate everything, man, and, uh, and thank you very much for that super chat. Kennedy, see you later this afternoon, man. Lonnie, enjoy your afternoon, Mr. Brian. Ross, see you later, man. Dark Bro, enjoy it. Thank you very much for the super chat, Dark Bro. J Bones, J Bones, we got Mr. Brian, J Bones, Mr. Brian. Dark Bro, see you later, J Bones. Gorilla Invictus, I didn't get a birthday song. Come on, man, bro, fam, every day, take off tomorrow. You deserve it. First birthday, first beat in a long time. Uh, Gorilla, is when's your birthday? Is it today? Is it tomorrow? Let me know. I'll sing it, I'll sing it again this afternoon. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear gorilla, happy birthday to you, uh, gorilla man, happy birthday to you, and we'll sing it again this afternoon as well. All right, it happening tomorrow, man, very nice. Make sure to come back in the afternoon. I will definitely sing it to you again. You're going to have a great day tomorrow. It is going to be awesome. So see you later. Enjoy your afternoon, Gorilla. Tony D, man. Danelle, see you later. Enjoy it. John J, man. Pudgy, I think should be in here. SD, see you later, man. Gorilla, Invictus, DD214, Gorilla, Danelle, J Bones, Tony D, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me. Say it with me. Till the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.